If you are a parent to look after children, knowing how to perform first aid is critical. How you react really does matter. If you found yourself in an emergency situation, would you know what to do? And if not, why not? Watching this one minute video could help you save a life. Burns in children make up a significant proportion of our emergency department attendances. The majority of burns we see are caused by scalds from hot liquids and affect infants and toddlers. This is often due to their quick, unpredictable movements. We also see contact burns from heated appliances such as hair straighteners and irons. If your infant or child has sustained a burn or scald to the eyes, nose, mouth or neck, you must seek medical attention from your nearest emergency department immediately as their vision or breathing might be compromised. If other areas are affected, you must still plan to seek medical attention, but in these cases it's safe to take a few minutes to apply some first aid measures at home. The first step is to cool the affected area under cold running water for at least 15 to 20 minutes. You may use a tap or a shower. This may be distressing for small children, but it is the most important measure to prevent further ongoing heat damage under the skin. The water temperature does not have to be freezing, 15 degrees Celsius is ideal, and remember to never use ice on a burn. The second step is to take off any wet or burnt clothing. If a piece of your child's clothes appears to be stuck to their skin, do not peel it away. Leave it in place and cut away the clothing around it. Many parents apply household products such as butter and grease to burns and scalds. We do not recommend applying anything to the burnt area until it has been seen by a medical practitioner. Greasy substances will only keep the heat in and slow down the healing process. Skin that has been burnt will often form blisters. If this occurs, do not pop the blisters at home as this is your body's way of preventing a skin infection. Remember, burnt skin is extremely painful, so please give your child some pain relief as soon after the burn as possible. There is no medical reason to cover a fresh burn. However, if the burnt area is at risk of rubbing against objects or sun exposure on your way to the GP or emergency department, you may want to loosely wrap a clean, light cloth like a muslin or gauze around your child's burn. Do not apply anything tight to the area. The burns we see are almost always preventable. When minding small children, never leave hot drinks or dishes uncovered. Always keep heated appliances such as hair straighteners, kettles and irons out of reach. Never leave a mobile child unattended. Never leave a baby in the care of their young sibling with no adult supervision. And always check your child's bath water temperature with a thermometer before placing your child in it. This information is intended for first aid only. Always seek medical advice for burns and scalds, no matter how minor they seem.